All right, guys. It is a gray gloomy, but the sun is coming out here on Sunday morning. It is Sunday morning, February 13th, 2022. So the little dog and I, we have been out enjoying it while we still can for about a week, but we are back and deep in the Point Lonesome Swamp in the Oasis of Freedom. And uh, so I am well rested and jacked up on coffee. So we'll get into a little piss and vinegar. You know, I need to get the old fashioned ham bone piss and vinegar back in this little, you know, Humpty Dumpty tribe. It's starting to get a little bit too pissy for my taste. So we need to increase the piss and vinegar quotient so i'm procrastinating because i want to do a very short review on uh that documentary fantastic fungi featuring paul how do you pronounce his last name stemmets that mushroom guy paul stemmets see how much hate mail i can get on that review but to practice for my review of fantastic fungi. Uh, we're going to uh, do a little house cleaning here. Your old vitriolic performance artist uh, needs to go back over there to visit my dear friend Vegematic. And uh, we're gonna read some comments from Veg's uh, video from last week. Uh, you know, I did that performance art piece that, uh, <laughs> you know, Veg and I, 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 you know, Veg is one of my best uh, imaginary little friends out here on YouTube. Never met the man. I've known this man for years. And uh, I, I, I think Vegematic uh, is man enough uh, to understand the ham bone performance art so anyway i knew when i did that rant uh, a couple of weeks ago that the vast majority of people uh would completely not fucking get it that uh what i was doing what well i'll tell i'll mention it in uh in, in a comment here completely going under the radar what I was doing in that rant, okay? I thought Vegematic uh, would, would get it. I don't know if he did or not. I'm gonna give, Veg, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that you understood, but for the clueless morons who did not understand what that rant was, I spelled it out right here in uh, my comment to, uh, to Veg's video titled Truckers, Culture Wars, Hambone, and Justin Trudeau. I, I love being the opening act for Justin Trudeau. My comment to that, <coughs> uh, to that video was apparently you missed the most important part of my performance art, the opening quote by Eric Rittenberry, quote, we are ruled and managed by the least among us, and we are greatly divided over trivial issues, close quote. That was the point of the video. Uh, talking to Veg, you of all folks know the subtlety of the ham bone sledgehammer. So once again, I, I, I'm spelling out to you clueless fucking morons what that video was about. Was talking about how we sit around and let these fucking little limp dicks from, from fucking Justin Trudeau to Joe Biden to Donald Trump, every one of these lowlife motherfuckers. Uh, get all of our little panties in a while. This is called divide and conquer. This is the oldest trick in the fucking New World Order playbook. 
it's divide and conquer. Get all the little peons arguing over themselves about some pointless fucking shit like, uh, like this trucker's freedom convoy in Canada. Uh, the most classic example uh, uh, of, of a, uh, of a non-event not worth uh, fucking six words. Okay, that, uh, th th this whole thing is, is a setup uh, by everyone from Justin Trudeau, uh, 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 the, the whole fucking gang. And I was pointing out by doing that uh, attack uh, on Vegematic uh, because he and I uh, have a difference of opinion over this completely non-event. It is a, this, this fucking freedom convoy, it is a distraction from the biggest distraction. All right, that was the fucking point of the video uh, that these clueless fucking morons listening to my channel. You know, I, I mentioned, you know, when I got busted by the cops last year, <clears throat> you know, when I got uh, accused of by an airboater of making uh, <clears throat> of making terrorist threats against uh, airboaters and, and the fucking Citrus County Sheriff's Department showed up here. This fat ass cop, dumb ass fucking Trump tarred cop, gets out of his car and, and, and uh, it says to me, "You know, Mr. Mitchell, I uh, I looked at your channel and I understood that you were being ironic. That your channel is ironic. A dumb fat cop." can look at one fucking video on Humpty Dumpty Tribe and, and, and understand what I'm doing on here more than the, my own clueless fucking moron tribes members. So I, I, I post that comment. Maybe if I spell it out. Uh, and so here's what I get. Let's, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going down. I'm just going to read some comments, and we're going to do some fucking house cleaning uh, here in Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, I love this, and I have no idea who Sat12 is, but I really, I really love uh, this. Is Sat12 on performance art? Sat12 has no fucking clue what performance art is. By the way, this is performance art. Does anybody not fucking get what I'm doing now? It's performance art. Take it away. Sat 12. <clears throat> it's funny how Sam is always claiming to be doing performance art just because he has a second channel, meaning this channel, about his everyday life. It's not like any of the things he does on Humpty Dumpty Tribe is some character actor with a different voice, different clothes, doing make-believe things. It is the exact Sam Mitchell, the exact same Sam Mitchell being himself. The only difference with Collapse Chronicles is that it is the very same guy reading news articles. So not having the slightest resemblance to performance art or acting, he calls his Humpty Dumpty Tribe channel performance art. It is a way of not taking responsibility for being a miserable, mean person, but an entertaining one at the same time. I wish he would stop claiming he is performing when he's not. That is phony. There is no performance. It is all him. Both channels are pure Sam Mitchell, and one merely has a nickname. In fact, you see a lot more of Sam's personality when he is on Humpty Dumpty Tribe under the name Hambone, going about a wider variety of activities and real, not acted, temper tantrums and meanness, happy when certain people commit suicide, etc. That is no act. It is all him. There you go. <laughs> 
Thank you, Sat12, my response <coughs> to Sat. How dare you compare me to that spineless little limp dick eco pussy over at Collapse Chronicles. Okay, so now we're going to hear from this fellow named Knight Skylight. I have known Knight Skylight. His name is Shane. I have known Knight. Uh, he's been one of my imaginary friends for five or six years. A couple of years ago, I actually spent, was it one or two nights, I spent uh, with... Uh, with this uh, with this fellow at his house, um, had a great time together, whatnot, and we have remained friends for years on on emails and whatnot. But the guy is a fucking weirdo, and he's getting more and more bizarre uh, over the past six months. I I I'm really feel like. It, it's kind of like he's exhibiting the beginning stages of schizophrenia. Uh, I mean, this whole weird fucking uh, series of emails he got in to me with over Dulcinea. Uh, Jesus. And uh, so anyway, this is Night Skylight talking to me on Vegematic's channel. This is from Night Skylight to me. A, a pod of whales miffs you. A pod of whales miffs you. I was wondering what in the fuck does that comment mean? And then I'm thinking I think what he's talking about is pile of fish. You know, plenty of fish dating service. Uh, I think I don't know. The guy is a fucking weirdo. A pod of whales miffs you. Real estate swaps save you. Canadian truckers boost your testosterone. Who knew Ignatius J. Riley, the character out of, uh, out of uh, Confederacy of Dunces, who knew Ignatius J. Riley could not keep it up or the blue pills sitting next to the mouse pad on your 17 inch HP Envy. More pods of more whales, Hambone. Gonna attack Veg? Why, Hambone? Yeah, we all need it sometime, but now, why? I think it has more to do with you than it does to do with veg or Canada. Man up, buttercup. You lead many, so lead. I have no fucking comment what any of that shit means, uh, particularly that last comment. I lead? What the fuck? Uh, I, I guarantee you I am not the leader of, of this motley crew. So anyway, uh, what I did was I immediately went over to Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles and kicked this weirdo off of both of my channels, sent him an email, get the fuck out of my life, do not ever contact me again, goodbye. His last email to me was, love you, miss you, brother. Uh, anyway, fuck you, brother. Uh, that is one piece of garbage in. Garbage out. You will never see another comment from Night Skylight on Humpty Dumpty Tribe or Collapse Chronicles again. Now this next one. Uh, th this one was a little tougher. This was from uh, who I thought was my good friend River Hermit. This is my friend Joanna, uh, who I have stayed with many times. I have, uh, I, I have enjoyed many visits to her home. Uh, she came up uh, to Sandy's party a couple of years ago. She is one of my imaginary friends who I have turned into a real-life friend. 
and uh, it is, as far as I know, uh, I have never had a bad word to say to or about Joanna, and she has never had a bad word to say to or about me. And uh, this was Joanna River Hermit's comment. Blah, blah, blah. I have to take a break from Hambone occasionally myself. Yes, he can get vicious. Too much for me. All right, you decide, did I or did I not kick my good friend River Hermit off of both of my channels? Did I or did I not send her an email get the hell out of my life. All right. Next. Uh, oh, good God. I could go on and on with this. But uh, uh, there's two more that I want to get to. And this is the main one. Uh, is this little maggot named Keith Hayes. Keith Hayes. Uh, now, I have interviewed Keith Hayes uh, not once, but two times at Collapse Chronicles. Uh, and I need to be careful. I might revisit this uh, story tomorrow uh, because it's about the C word. And I can only talk about the C word on, on Monday. So I can't tell the background of why, uh, where Keith Hayes and I parted company other than you can believe it was about the C word. This is Keith to Veg. Veg, we have the same relationship with Hambone. I have also been on the receiving end. Mitchell is at times a heartless SOB indeed. Disagree with him and he will cancel your ass. <laughs> this is my uh, response to that spineless little maggot, Keith Hayes. Keith, I assure you that I do not have the same relationship with you as I do with Veg. With one minor exception, I agree with everything Veg says about anything, and he is a good person. As I recall, I did not yank down my interview with Veg, and I have not banned him from either of my channels. You have the singular honor, Keith, of being the only person whose interview I have ever yanked down in my entire life. But you do share the honor of being kicked off both of my channels, which is the same honor I notice that other folks tra t talking trash about me here have. You know, it's always uh, about... It's, it's a lot more true at Sandy's channel than, you know, about half of, uh, about half of uh, Sandy's subscribers have been kicked off of uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, okay, who is this other clueless fucking moron I want to uh, talk about? Uh, I would, okay, it's this, uh, JT guy, I don't know if JT's man or male or female, Jesus, where, uh, where is this shit, this goddamn comment, uh, and I know it's on here, unless, uh, YouTube, Okay, here is JT. <clears throat> I, um, I unsubscribed from Humpty Dumpty Tribe because of the vitriol and misogyny. 
If you have a different opinion from Hellbone, he will come after you with a vicious diatribe, especially after a couple of margaritas. And uh, my response to JT, I honestly don't know if JT is male or female, was, did you unsubscribe? I thought I kicked your ass I thought I kicked your limp dick lefty ass off of both of my channels. Oh, yeah, then then it is somewhere. Okay, then uh, yeah, that was response. And I, I honestly don't know I, I if I did not kick JT off of both of my channels, I meant to. So I do appreciate that JT adds... Uh, I enjoy your vids, so keep posting. I could not get 840 people to subscribe to my YouTube channel, so there is that. And my comment after uh, I thought I kicked your limp dick lefty ass off of both of my channels was, last time I checked, I had about 12,000 subs. What does that say about vicious diatribes? You pathetic lowlife. All right, so we have lightened the load uh, from JT and Night Skylight. Uh, and you decide for yourself whether I lightened my load by getting rid of River Hermit off of my channels. But anyway, now that I've done some uh, pruning here, that Humpty Dumpty tribe. I need to come back with the rant I was going to do today. And I, it, well, I will try to make it as short and sweet as possible. I'm going to come back with my review of Fantastic Fungi feature, Fungi featuring mushroom hunter Paul Stamets in one minute. Bye, guys.